To begin the process of replacing an internal bladder, remove all of the air from the shaft using the Tidland air release tool. Remove the valve and set screws and place the shaft into a rounded and cushioned vise. Install the Tidland impact puller slide hammer into the journal on the valve end of the shaft. Strike the weight on the slide hammer against the stop to loosen the journal and the bladder from the shaft. Remove the journal and the bladder from the side. Cut a new bladder to length, ensuring that the ends are square and clean without any nicks or irregular edges. Clean the inside and outside of both ends of the new bladder to ensure a good seal when the end assembly is installed. Insert the bladder over the end fitting so that the bladder extends over the gripping area of the end fitting. Now install the end cap over the bladder. Finger tighten the nut on the end cap. Mark the bladder where it meets the end cap so you can check later to make sure the bladder has not slipped during tightening. Place the end assembly into a specially shaped and cushioned vise fixture. Tighten the end cap nut. Ensure that the bladder has not slipped off of the end fixture before replacing the shaft on the machine. Contact Tidland for more specific information about internal bladder shafts.